Good evening, this is a smart home demonstration. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to automate a series of tasks using voice recognition through the Amazon Echo and Echo Dot systems to manipulate electrical switches, electrical outlets, thermostats, things like that. So let's get started, shall we? So as we come into the house, I wanna be able to manipulate some things. Maybe my hands are full um, carrying groceries, for example. Hey Alexa, turn on the Christmas tree light. Hey Alexa, turn on the hallway light. Okay. So this way, you know, your hands are busy and you're carrying and you're walking through. It's a dark house at night. Hey Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. Okay. Alexa, turn on the dining room light. Okay. That's really handy as you can imagine. Um, but you want to be able to do some other things. So I'm going to show what you can do with this thermostat using voice controls. But imagine if you will, you were in bed and you know, it's the middle of the night and it's dark and you don't, you're all comfy and warm and you don't want to necessarily get up, but you know, you need to change the thermostat. Hey Alexa, lower the thermostat one degree. That command doesn't work on the device thermostat. Hey Alexa, lower the temperature one degree. Eco B. Eco B is not a mode. Ring number 72. And there you go. So that will manipulate the the system at this point. You can obviously schedule it, but you have the ability to manipulate it with your voice from the middle of the night. That's kind of nice. Um, or if you weren't feeling good and you're sick, for example, you really don't want to get out of bed and come over to here. That's just uh, that's just you're, you're exhausted. Hey um Alexa. Turn on the living room lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn on the sofa lamp. Okay. So now I'm gonna show some of the other things of what you can do. Now, at this point I basically have a television here and a sound system and, and I wanna be able to manipulate the channels using my voice. Um, maybe you have a pet or you got children or, or your hands are just um, not free for whatever reason. So, hey Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. So essentially what's happening is, is I'm using like a Harmony remote, if you've seen those, but there's also a hub you can get. And so by programming the remote, the remote then talks to the Amazon system so that you can manipulate it and do different things. Now, I'm, you know, I'm comfy and I want to be able to do my stuff here. So, Alexa, turn on Fox. Okay. Press no change out, nothing up my sleeve, right? Um, Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. But it's kind of hot, right? So, uh, Alexa, turn on the living room fan. Okay. Maybe I want a little bit more light. Maybe I want to have a better conversation. Alexa, turn on the living room fan light. Okay. Hmm. So, it gives you a little bit of a taste of what you can do. I'm sure you probably have some other ideas, but let's go ahead and continue on. So. I'm coming into the bedroom now. Alexa, turn on the bedroom lamp. Alexa, turn on the bedroom fan light. Okay. Alexa, turn on the bedroom fan. Okay. Now, we're in my bathroom here. But what I wanted to show is time is really precious. It's the most precious commodity you basically have. In the mornings, you don't have a lot of it. You're either getting your kids ready or you're just running out of time. You overslept, your power's out, your alarm doesn't work, what have you. And so you have to maximize that. But you also want to be able to be comfortable, right? So tying the system into your calendar and your mail and music allows you to do different things. So you can imagine if you were in the shower 
You can't really easily change your music, right? But that's important because the music sets the whole tone for the day, right? It's like a series of events that ripple out like a cause and effect. So, Alexa, play Led Zeppelin. Playing songs by Led Zeppelin from Spotify. So at this point, you can kind of set the mood, but maybe you don't like that song. Maybe you want to do it to something different. Alexa, next track. There you go. You want to jumpstart your day. You want to play something a little bit more aggressive. Now, you're in your shower, you're doing your thing, and you want to know what else is going on. So, uh, Alexa, what's on my calendar for the day? There are no events scheduled for the rest of the day. Cool. So I'm free for the day. So I don't have to rush. So, uh, Alexa, stop music. But maybe your significant other told you not to forget something. So, Alexa, what's on my grocery list for the day? Alexa, what's on my grocery list? You have one item on your shopping list. Toothpaste. Right. Toothpaste is important twice a day. So you can do other reminders and other tasks. That way you can't forget and you can do mail or um, go to the post office, get these groceries, get these stamps, driver's license, what have you. That way you can manage your life, organize your life with an assistant. Now this system is really, if you break it up into little pieces, it's not that hard, but it is very, the more you do it, the more flexible options you have, the more optimization you've got, and it can take a, it can take a while. But let's continue on. So I wanna show you some bonus coverage here. This isn't tied into Alexa, but this is a smart home demonstration of the future, so I wanted to show some of the other stuff you can do. So, uh, Alexa, turn on the TV. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, Alexa. Alexa, turn on TV. So I'm going to go ahead and show what you can do using um, some special lighting, for example. So at this point, what I'm going to actually do is show, uh, we don't want Netflix, what we want to actually do is change our input. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this manually, just to save some time here. Alright, so I just put up a basic fire stick on my television here, and you, know, you can pick this up pretty easily. but. You can also do some other things here. 